Are you having problems such as getting eliminated early on in matches, losing many matches, can't get to a higher rank, or even being called a noob by your own friends? If that's you, make sure to watch until the end of this video because in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys 7 powerful and effective tips that can help you to improve your gameplay and help you to go from a noob to a pro in Free Fire. Tip number 1. If you're a player that wants to improve your gameplay but you just keep camping all the time in ranked matches, I recommend that you first focus on improving your rushing and attacking skills. If you just keep camping, Camping all the time, you won't learn how to rush and attack enemies. Learning how to rush and attack enemies is very important if you want to become a better player in Free Fire. Let's say you didn't improve your rushing and attacking skills. What would happen if you go up against a player early on in a ranked match who is more experienced in rushing and attacking? There's a high chance that the enemy could take you down while you're camping. And I think you guys know what happens when you get eliminated early on in a ranked match, right? You lose a lot of rank points. If you improve your rushing and attacking skills, then you can use those skills with your camping skills together to rank up much faster. So my first tip for you guys is to reduce camping. Just forget about pushing your rank for some time and just focus more on improving your rushing and attacking skills. Now you guys might ask, how do we improve our rushing and attacking skills? I'll get to that in tip number 2 and tip number 3. So now let's get on to tip number 2. So in order to improve your rushing and attacking skills, I'm gonna give you guys a 3 step process. When you get better in the first step, move on to the second step. And when you get better in the second step, move on to the third step. For the first step, I recommend you guys to play Russian solo rank matches. If you are a beginner, first land on safe spots and loot the necessary items and then go into rushing. But if you are not a beginner, try to land on busy places such as peak, clock tower and the blue zone. Most of the time, good level players will land on these places. If you practice rushing and attacking good level players, you will become a lot better over time. At first, it can be a bit hard to take down good level players but if you keep practicing, you will get better over time. After you get better at rushing and attacking enemies in solo rank matches, move on to the second step. The second step is to play Russian solo versus duo rank matches. If you practice playing Russian solo versus duo rank matches, you will learn how to handle two enemies at once. Once you get better at Russian two enemies, move on to the third step. The third step is to play Russian solo versus squad rank matches. When playing solo versus squad rank matches, you can learn how to handle multiple enemies at once. You can also improve your planning skills and also your movement and reflexes by practicing on solo versus squad matches. Tip number 3. Now I'm gonna tell you guys a way that you can use not just to improve your rushing and attacking skills but also to improve things such as your glue wall speed, movement and reflexes and also your short range fighting skills. The way to improve all this is to play unlimited demo custom room matches. I think you guys know that in unlimited demo custom room matches, you can use unlimited amounts of glue walls. So in here, you can improve your glue wall speed. When playing unlimited demo custom room matches, always try to play rush. If you are a player that just keeps standing behind a glue wall for a very long time just waiting for your enemy to come near you, I recommend that you stop doing that and practice rushing and attacking the enemy. Standing behind a glue wall for a very long time is just like camping. You you won't improve your rushing and attacking skills. So I highly recommend that you start to practice rushing the enemy in unlimited demo custom room matches. Tip number 4. A lot of players think that they can become a pro player just by practicing for a few days. But most of the players that really play well go to those places by practicing every day. They go to those places by being consistent. A player that practices every day will improve a lot than a player that just plays for like 2 days then stops and again plays for a few days. So I recommend that you try playing every day at least 30 minutes a day for 1 month. See whether you improve or not. There might be some days where you won't feel motivated enough to play and at such days, the best thing that's gonna help you through that is discipline. Even in real life, discipline will help you to get things done when you don't feel motivated. I recommend that you try practicing at least 30 minutes a day for one month to see if you improve or not. Tip number 5. When you see an enemy in a match, do you have problems such as you panic, you feel nervous or your hands start shaking? Normally, this happens when you have a low level of confidence when playing. If you want to improve your confidence, you'll have to fix your mindset. If you play with a negative mindset, mindset where you just think you're bad and you won't be able to take down the enemy, it's no surprise that you panic and feel nervous when you encounter an enemy. So to build up your confidence, think with a positive mindset. Don't just think bad about yourself, always believe in yourself. Even if you get eliminated in that match, try to learn from your mistakes, fix them, get better and do well in the next match. Tip number 6. Now I'm gonna tell you guys 3 ways that you can use to learn and improve your gameplay. The first way is to learn through your own mistakes. Most of the time, the reason why we lose a match could be because of a mistake that we did in that match. Try to rewatch those matches and try to find out the mistakes that you did. After that, try to see if you can fix that mistake and also try not 
to do those mistakes again in other matches. The second way is to learn through your enemies. Sometimes enemies will use different types of tricks and strategies to defeat you. Try to rewatch your matches or try to remember what tricks and strategies that the enemies used. Then you can practice those tricks and strategies and use them against other enemies. The third way to learn is by watching how other pro players play. There are many great players that upload their gameplays onto YouTube. You can learn a lot by watching how they play. Tip number 7. A lot of players watch many videos on how to improve their gameplay but they don't practice those things that they learn. Now if you want to improve your gameplay, you will have to apply those things that you learn into your gameplay. So don't be that guy who just watches many videos but never practices. Try to learn new things and apply those things into your gameplay so that you can improve and become a better player in Free Fire. If you guys want to know more tips and tricks that pro players use, check out this video. In here I tell you guys 15 tips and tricks that pro players use in Free Fire.